Taylor's nickname for me is the gatekeeper. <laughs> I inherited this nickname the night of our housewarming party, where I proceeded to sit Taylor down and interview him about his intentions with my sister. True story. <laughs> Very true, yes. His answers were honest and true, and the rest is history. Today's date is the 21st of October. Today we're actually at our house. The leaves are falling and turning colors. It's a beautiful day for a beautiful event. And I think it's really special for Mailer to be able to get ready in the house she grew up in. Should be a fun day. Yeah. Just looking forward to seeing Mel and Taylor. We both love fall, so the fact that we were able to, you know, coordinate that and schedule our, our beautiful wedding, um, it's, it's just been a really special weekend. My buddies and I walked into a, an establishment. This group of guys comes in and most of the guys have wedding bands on. One guy comes over by me, no wedding band. Just started a conversation and it just sort of went from there. Went on our first date later that week. She just went so much deeper than the surface level, you know, attraction and beauty. I texted my sister and I said, oh, this is the guy I'm gonna marry. Taylor is a very strong man. I'm super happy he's going to be the husband of my daughter. He's extremely handsome. He has got beautiful eyes uh, and his hair is immaculate. A little bit crazy, uh, a little bit uh, serious, a little bit funny. He doesn't cook, he doesn't clean, he's lazy. Uh, I don't know if there's a good thing about DJ. No, he's one of the best friends I have. I hate everything about this. Mallory is my oldest friend, and I couldn't ask for a better husband for her. I would say Mallory is a strong, charismatic person. She's the world's greatest aunt. I think she's just so much fun, and nothing warms my heart more than to see her love on my girls, and she's great at that. Mallory is, is a wonderful woman. She is uh, an extension of her mother, and uh, I'm so proud of her. I love her. As our relationship grew, I found myself just wanting to be with her. We were in Isle Morada. We were down in the Keys. My parents were acting a little bit fishy. I wasn't really sure what was going on. Her dad knew that he had to come up with another part of the plan. He had just gotten a brand new motor on the boat, so he told her that he wanted her to go down with him to christen the new motor with a couple of champagne glasses. Halfway walking out of the pier, I said, oh, I forgot something. And so I handed her my glass of champagne and kind of ran back in towards the beach, and that's when Taylor went out. And I hear Taylor come up behind me, and he's asked if there's any big ones in the water. <laughs> she turned around, and she looked like she'd seen a ghost. So. <laughs> I definitely surprised her, that's for sure. He got down on one knee and he said a few really nice, loving things. Mallory was totally shocked and couldn't believe that all of her family was there. Got to celebrate and it was an amazing weekend. No peeking, Dad. Nope. In a few minutes, I'm going to leave with my best man, my brother, um, to go do the first look. And I, I think this is what I'm looking most forward to, is just seeing her. I, I can't wait to see how beautiful she looks. It gets me a little emotional thinking about it, so. Mallory, we finally made it, our wedding day. 
As I write this, I can't help but picture you in your dress and wonder just how beautiful you are going to be. I am so excited to start our new life together and I want you to know that I pledge my love to you. Love you always and forever. <laughs> wow. I love both of them. Uh, I wish them the best. This is such an exciting day. I'm honored to be a part of it. I am excited to see Mallory's face when she walks down the aisle. She's going to be so happy and beautiful and it's such a special moment. Can we say congrats to Taylor and Auntie Mallory? Congrats to Taylor and Auntie Mallory. Okay, and let's blow them a kiss. Well, I'm just looking forward to walking my daughter down the aisle. Yeah, that's pretty special. Well, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Father Vince Costello. I'm the pastor here at Holy Cross Church. I'd like to welcome everyone to our church today on this lovely autumn afternoon. Taylor and Mallory, wow, what a great day. We're, great day for you. Otherwise, you must live right, you know? It'll be a beautiful autumn day for a beautiful couple. You know, Taylor, you said after you met Mallory, you said, I can't wait to call this girl and take her out. And on that first date, you excused yourself, Mallory, and texted your sister, right? I said, this is the guy. When something happens that naturally, that good, it's the work of God's Spirit. Friends, today, Mallory and Taylor chose to represent their unity while the time of a fisherman's knot, a true lover's knot. They love fishing. He's had some experience on lakes, so little fish. Um, but my family loves to go fishing in the, the Keys, in the Florida Keys. Uh, we have a wonderful time uh, on the water. It's very relaxing. She's a big fisherman as well, but maybe not as much as her dad and I. He has truly become a Lindholm fisherman. The fact that she and Taylor can do this together, I think, is really special. Although the fisherman's knot is one of the simplest to tie, it is also one of the sturdiest. Its bond will not break, becoming ever stronger under pressure. I, Mallory, take you, Taylor, to my lawful husband, to have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, until death do us part. Until death do us part. And ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor for me to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Taylor Kistner.
is my pleasure to introduce for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Taylor Kistner. What an amazing night it's been. It's great to see so many familiar faces and some new faces who have made an impact on Mallory and Taylor's life. Thank you for being here to celebrate their marriage and being a part of this special day. My sister Mallory has always been a guiding presence in my life. Over the past 25 years, she has not only been an amazing big sister, but she has also shown me the true meaning of friendship and love. Mallory, welcome sis. We're so blessed to have you in our lives, and we're so happy that you make TJ so happy. He adores Mallory, and he would do anything to see her smile and make her happy. Everybody join me. Raise a glass to TJ and Mallory more of those moments in your life that you'll never forget. Here, here. Cheers. To Mailer and Taylor, the newest Mr. and Mrs. Kistner. Cheers. Cheers. This incredible woman standing next to me, this night certainly would not have happened without all of your hard work and dedication. Enjoy this moment because it's all about you. So I want to raise our glasses to Mrs. Mallory Kistner. To this day, I swear, my first memory is sitting in my grandma's kitchen at her table with an apple and a coloring book. And I had just gotten back from the hospital. And I had just met my brother for the first time. I was a proud new brother. Today reminds me of that. I'm a proud big brother. Woo! Last November, in the Florida Keys, Taylor and I took our boat out to try to get some bait. He said, Mr. Lindholm, I want to talk to you about something. <laughs> well, Dad's knows what comes next. I smiled and said, okay. <laughs> he said, I love your daughter and would like to ask your permission to marry her. In that moment, I knew his declaration of love for Mallory is forever. The two of them complement each other perfectly. And in the three years they've been together, their love has grown and shown me what happily ever after is like. After all the time of dating that I had finally found the guy that he could make me laugh, I thought he was so handsome, and I had fun with him, and everything I was looking for. I look forward to not knowing what the future holds for us. I, I think that's exciting in and of itself. But just knowing that she's going to be a part of it and there for the rest of my life, that's what I'm most looking forward to.